perhaps on this Batman ride is 10 minutes. So I think we'll make that our next ride. This is the latest I've stayed this trip so far. It's past 8. Well, hey, I got here past 2, so... I'm just trying to make up lost time by getting in uh, as many rides as I can. Let's see, oh yeah, this is short. All times, and you're heading against the high rest. Secure all hands to your the line. This is Enjoy your ride. Pretty much walk on. Gotta wait for this cycle. For your safety, all cell phones must be secured at this time. Failure to do so will result in removal from the ride. Oh, is that the back? Yeah, did you go to the other I didn't know. <laughs> for some reason. Him, I guess. <laughs> Batman's not an it. <laughs> you know what I mean. Batman to ride back row well done. <laughs> I picked the wrong row at first. I saw people go in the back and I was like, oh, that's the back? I, for some reason. <laughs> yeah, oh well. But I got, yeah. Basically walk on, had to wait one cycle. I remember the last time I went on Batman, it was a walk-on, but yeah. That's awesome, Bride. Keep your head against the headrest, brace, and it's not too bad. I mean, it doesn't really bang your head then. And uh, don't put, don't hold it forward, or you're gonna get whip whiplash. Okay. <laughs> Like I did on Demon. <laughs> it's so weird to hear these birds around here. Uh, sometimes I hear and I think it's like kids screaming or something. But no, they're birds. Because it's the park area of the uh, queue. This, I believe, was my 10th ride of the day, so that's pretty good. I got here at 2, well, a little after. Superman Ultimate Flight looks like 15 minutes according to the app. So let's hit this. Make it one of the last rides of the night, maybe the last ride, we'll see. No, this is not 15 minutes. It's walk on. Just waiting for this cycle. Actually, the next train is about to hit, so yeah, it's walk on. Oh, he's got the Superman cape on, he's dressing the part. Yeah, that was a walk-on. <laughs> third row. They're still assigning seats. So yeah, got third row. Awesome ride. I'm hitting pretty much all the coasters I really care about. I didn't get a Viper yet, but that's okay. I don't have to hit it today. Probably still be back tomorrow at least for a little bit we'll see yeah ops are still great on it not having to wait on that brick platform forever just hanging there
problem, Condor. Still not open. It was open beginning of the season. Is this uh, gonna go the way of like Demon and Mardi Gras Hangover? Like last year, Mardi Gras Hangover was open and then it was closed for the rest of the season. And then Demon was like the same thing, except it reopened around the time of Fright Fest. I feel like you should do it. But yeah. Is this gonna be one of those things? Oh yeah, it's closed for the season. For some weird reason. Or maybe they reopened it. Actually, yeah, Mardi Gras Hangover reopened, I think, for Fright Fest too. Yeah, because I saw vlogs of that. But I'm not going for Fright Fest. I mean, if Condor's doing the same thing, I'm not going to Fright Fest. <laughs> I never do. There's the Sky's Trek Tower. Might get a nice night ride on that thing. We'll see. Alright, we're gonna cap off our night on the Sky Trek Tower. And that'll be it for the day. Offer more than 20 million rides each season. Great America is home to three children's areas geared towards thrill seekers in training. You'll find Camp Crash in the Corner at this tunnel, Kidsopolis in County Fair, and Hometown Park in Cold Park Square. These rides promise to give kids a thrilling experience and feel inspired for their high age. Outside of our children's area, we have attractions for the entire family throughout the park. Some of which include the Big Easy Balloons, Chabasco, the Columbia Carousel, and the Great America Steel Railway. Want to take the family fun up a notch? Try these rides out. Put in the trees of Hometown Square. Take a ride on our beloved wizard. One of Great America's original attractions, the wizard was the Big Easy Star Trail Coaster Ride, which still holds a special place in our hearts today. From kids to grandparents, this is definitely a coaster for everyone. Want something that thrills with the skin? Take a ride on Lobster, a hometown fun machine, both located in Hometown Square. Or, head back to County Fair and get dizzy on Fiddler's Claim. For our intermediate thrill seekers, we've got some rides for you. Head over to Southwest Territory and take a ride on Viper. This wooden roller coaster is modeled after the classic cyclone at Coney Island. Get wrapped in the claws of Viper and it twists you around its many hills and lateral G's. Viper has got the hopes. Now flip on over to the Joker. On this thrilling adventure, you'll soar outside the track in wind cars, facing other riders as you travel up on 90 degree lift. 120 feet in the air. You'll somersault the wall, dropping down two or three full radio drops, and experience at least six witless head over heel flips. As the Joker stretches through the DC universe, you can't just walk by without giving it a try. Want to take your thrills to the extreme? Then you've got to try these rides out. Max Force is the fastest launch coaster in North America, reaching speeds of 78 miles per hour in under two seconds. This incredible record-breaking coaster features the fastest inversion and the tallest double inversion of any roller coaster in the world. Prepare to achieve new altitudes on Sky Striker, a high flying soaring adventure. Hold on tight as Sky Striker takes you 172 Sky feet Striker in the air. So beautiful. Swing through the sky at speeds of up to 75 miles per hour. Taking unique views of Great America as you soar along 130 degree swings of the towering pendulum, nearly going upside down. As you swing through the clouds, you will also spin around, adding even another dimension to this maximum thrills experience. This first of its kind of ride for the park creates a free fall sensation like no other. As Sky Striker brings you back down to Earth, you will already be right, on your next journey through the sky. Thank you, right.
As we make our way back down Sidetrack Tower, please remain seated until the cabin is come to a full and complete stop. At that time, please exit the cabin through the door facing the back slopes. Thank you for riding Skytrack Tower, and thanks for visiting Six Flags Great America. Have a great day. Yeah, that Max Forest line don't look too bad, but I'm gonna be pretty much done. Skytrack Tower is all done. I probably should have started recording like I did get a full POV of it oh shoot I was walking away I could have gotten a view of Max Force <laughs> I did get a full POV of it on day one Monday but you could barely heal I can't talk <laughs> you could barely hear the spiel over all the people talking. There was barely any people on it this time. I don't know if you could hear it better because I decided kind of late, you know what, I'm gonna start recording it because the view is at night. Sky Striker looks beautiful at night. So yeah, I recorded uh, most of it. So we'll, we'll see uh, when I look at the recording how well you can hear the spiel and me trying to talk over it. <laughs> There's that lit up sign. It's gonna do it for day three. I started a little after two. Had some culvers for lunch and they decided I'm gonna head to the park. I felt pretty rest rested, so. And not a bad day. I got uh, pretty much every coaster in that I really cared about, except for Viper, but that's fine. Got a nice night ride on Skytrek Tower. Waited out the rain for a little bit, but didn't last a whole lot of time. <laughs> and just this league was closed due to weather. I would, I wasn't really gonna ride it. I mean, I might have, but like I said earlier, I took a screenshot of it, and I'm probably going to incorporate that into the video. Uh, Bug is trying to bite me right now. So sorry for a shaky camera. Um, so yeah, we'll see what's going on for tomorrow. Uh, I might try to get at least a half day in, but yeah, it was not bad today. So I'll see you when I see ya. I'm out.